Hello, today is day three of our reading, Giraffes Can't Dance. We're going to go over some new vocabulary words and then go over our learning target and read the story. First one, our main character, Giraffe, mammal with a very long neck, tallest living animal. Sad, feeling unhappy. Roar, deep full cry made by the lion or a large wild animal. Moon, the natural satellite of the earth. Munching, eat with continued actions of jaw. Music, viol or vocal or instrumental sound. I was going to say our new one. Violin, stringed musical instrument. Dancing, activity of movement for entertainment. And dream, thoughts or images during sleep. And our learning target today is, can you summarize the story? What happened at the beginning, middle, and end? Okay. Giraffes can't dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warhawk started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight bamboos then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is the branches and the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes I'm dancing, I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle, we must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How'd you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. All right, kiddos, let's go over those vocabulary words again. Our main character, giraffe, mammal with a very long neck, tallest living animal, sad, feeling unhappy, roar, deep full cry made by lion or large wild animal, moon, natural satellite of the earth, munching, eat with continued actions of jaw, music, vocal or instrumental sound, violin, a string musical instrument, dancing, activity of movement for entertainment, and dream, thoughts of images during sleep. And then um, are you able to summarize the story? What happened at the beginning of the story? What happened in the middle of the story? And what happened at the end of the story? Thanks. Have a great day.